you know about the CRISPR stuff, right? Yeah. Gene editing, manipulation. Yeah. Uh, they go cool in there. Cool and scary. Cool and scary. <laughs> that's this. That's the subtext for this show. Cool and scary. Uh-huh. Apparently, they made it better already. So, originally, you had the CRISPR gene editing system. Target specific genes. And now they have this thing called CRISPR on, CRISPR off. Like an on and off switch where they can go in there with a level of precision. They can take the edit on or off. Hmm. Binary. The new gene editing technology developed by Whitehead Institute member Jonathan Weissman and University of California, San Francisco. Assistant Professor Luke Gilbert is called CRISPR off, capable of controlling a gene with laser like precision while leaving the broader strand of DNA unchanged. The edits are not only stable enough to be inherited through hundreds of cell divisions, but are also fully reversible. We can do this for multiple genes at the same time without any DNA damage. So, of course, this takes out some of the risk involved in creating this type of edit and creating this type of modification. It's like, this is like computer programming now, Mm. except it's your genes. Mm. And so getting back to the idea that you can do some amazing things with this. Uh, uh, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Uh, in tests on pluripotent stem cells, which can turn into any type of cell desired, the researchers managed to almost entirely silence the expression of the tau protein, which is heavily implicated in the onset of Alzheimer's disease. Wow, you can just turn that off, eh? Yeah, you just hit the off button on it. What we showed is that this is a viable strategy for silencing tau and preventing that protein from being expressed. Tau? That, that's the name of the protein. Hmm. Adding that the means of delivering this into an adult human have yet to be fully fleshed out, but it shows early promise. Wow. <laughs> I mean, for diseases, that's amazing. But I think there might be too much power. Whoa. Whoa. This is, <laughs> this is mean, the scary part of it. Yeah. This is just freedom, right? To do whatever they want. Yeah. To manipulate anything in well, your genes. Well, if you want to go a bit deeper. Uh-oh. They compared the delivery, deliverability potential of CRISPR off into a human being to the newly developed RNA technology, which forms the basis of both the Moderna and the BioNTech coronavirus vaccines. So they can make vaccines based on the RNA. Well, technology. let's just say that you can change the expression of genes across a large number of people. Mm. Anytime you have a technology, it seems particularly a really powerful one like this. You can imagine the scenarios in which it can be used for good, and you can imagine the scenarios in which it can be used for bad. Can't, doesn't it always seem like that? Of course, yeah. It's like anything that is cool or novel, you, you, your brain splits immediately. Go, could that could happen, and that could happen, mm-hmm. and you, you, you just start to consider who's in control of it and what are mm-hmm. the limitations. Mm-hmm. But I mean. This is just the idea of editing with that level of precision. Programming. Oh. The expression of the genes in the human. It's so cool and also scary. Yes. Like almost everything that's cool. It also has to kind of be scary. I think. Yeah. I don't know. For sure. 